All right. So, um, big up people, big up people. Um, definitely. Um, thank you guys for coming in. This is um, Military Guna TV. Um, I'm not planning to have a long one this evening. Hopefully, I can run through these as quick as possible. But um, if you're watching, like button and uh, subscribe if you like the content. If not, just uh, smash the like button and uh, go. I have no problem with you not subscribing, but um, I would have definitely issues with you hitting the like button because that is the easiest way to show support to the channel. And I would really, really appreciate it if you guys do that. So um, we're going to speak about the Ethan Pinnock and also three other players who are of Jamaican descent or Jamaican heritage who can possibly play for the reggae boys. Now, we have two defend we have two defenders and uh, three defenders um to be exact one and one um striker um three defenders are Ethan uh, um Ethan Pinnock we have Max Aarons on the right at the right back position and then on the left back position we have Rico Henry now and it goes to show that um there's so much talent outside of um Jamaica so much talent outside outside there that we have that we can tap into. And we're not utilizing those talents at the moment. It's imperative that we try our best to, to get these players and uh, see how best we can formulate a strong team. Because um, the, the same player we're looking at right now, which is um, Rico Henry, he has so much to offer. He has so much to offer. He is a player that can actually step into the team and rival, and I mean rival, um, Taxi Lawrence for that left back position. He has been he's featured in the team of the week, the, the, the season, team of the season for Brentford of the championship, the championship team of the season. That's where he's, he's featured, people. And you have to pay that some respect. It means something. It means something. And then now we will go over to the right back position where we see the likes of Max Aarons, cousin to Rolando Aarons. And uh, as I said before, he's of Jamaican descent. But this won't be a long one, people. Um, I'm just going to run through a few things. Definitely run through a few things with you guys and see how well you guys, um, the understanding that you guys have, have of these players. Now, let's talk about Ethan Pinnock. Obviously, we can, uh, we can actually say that Ethan Pinnock can typically, typically the best, the best um, centre-back in the team at the moment which is coming in with his CV. As a, he has a massive, massive CV um, stepping into the club with into the country um national team with I should say my my um excuse me for that he has a massive massive CV and that is something that we have to look at and it is important it's really really imperative that we we uh, we acknowledge these things and as I said people this definitely won't be a long one so the next as you guys can see Rico Henry plays left back young talented player an extremely talented player playing for Brentford Football Club at a left back position. He has been featured. He has, he has has a lot of caps. No, a lot of games under his belt this season in entirety. Uh, you have to pay respect for that. That means something. I know a lot of you guys don't know much about him. I previously did a video on him. I am um, basically highlighting what he has to offer and how he can actually um uplift uplift our team and take us to a different level. But in all essence. In all essence, he's a player that I really, really like. I like I, I, I like his work ethics. I like the way he go about doing his business. There's so much things I like about what he does. And it goes to show that we have talented players out there willing to take the mantle and move on. It's just for us to, to look at them and then make the move. So that's it for Rico Henry. Um, PFA Awards, Championship Team of Season. So the PFA Championship Team of the Year has been named with three Bs, which is the Brentford team, in the selection. Congratulations to the lads. So we have already covered one of them. And then now the next player that we'll cover is actually the man himself, the reggae boy, the big reggae boy himself, which is Ethan Pinnock. You have to pay respect to Ethan Pinnock. It's imperative that you pay respect to him. He's featured in, in the Championship player, um, Team of the Year. Come on. This is some difficult task to get over the line. I mean, really, really difficult. We we'll we would definitely understand that a few people may not rate him, but we you have to give respect where respect is due in regards to this player. He's a quality player. I mean, a quality, an extra, extraordinary player. It's just the same as the next person that we'll be, we'll be talking about, which is 
Ivan Tony. Quality player, a player that I really like. Most of you guys who watch my channel realize that he's a player that I always um speak about. He's a player that I speak about quite so often. But the most noticeable one out of it for me is this guy. Someone that I see is actually um sleeping under the carpet for most people. And I don't know why. Why is it that this guy is literally sleeping under the carpet? Uh, military, are you watching the Honduras versus the USA game? Yes, I am actually taking a look at it, but I won't. This stream is not a long stream. This stream is a, literally a short, short stream. Um, so I'll go to that as soon as as soon as I'm finished this stream. I just want to relay this information that I got. Um, but speaking about speaking about um Rico Enuno, a young lad, twenty three years old, twenty three years old. Um, defensive le uh, left back position, really number three, a very, very solid defender. Played a total of 30 games this season. He started all 30 of those games, finishing 84 minutes of those games. He also had a goal. He has a goal in, in, his, in his bag with two assists. Um, he, he completes like 62 touches per 90, um, creates two big chances. Um, accurate passes 30.1. With at a 79% pass completion, accurate pass in his own half at 85%. Let me move over to his defensive attributes now, which, which is relatively good. I would say he has nine clean sheets, 0 0.9 interception per 90 at 1.3 tackles per game. And he was dribble, his dribble pass like 0 0.5 per 90, like literally like one every game. Every other game, he, 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 someone beats him and he makes 1.4 clearance per game. And he, yes, he definitely conceded one penalty, but he's a player that we have to consider. We have to look at him and say, he's someone that we can bring into the team and he can contribute a lot to what we have and we, ha we have to do. So um, I, it, we have to show these, these guys some respect. Um, congratulations to Ethan Pino. Congratulations to Ivan Tony. Congratulations to um, Rico Henry. Now, the next player, um, I don't have him on screen right now, is Max Aarons. Now, I know a lot of you guys are asking about Rolando Aarons. Now, this is his cousin, Max Aarons, which is also of Jamaican descent. So, that's literally four players in the championship um, team of the season who are, who, are, who are of Jamaican descent with the Jamaican heritage in their background who can potentially represent us um, on the national um, feature. And that is something big. That is definitely something big and we have to consider. So um, hopefully you guys like uh, get a bit of understanding about these players. I have to highlight these players for you guys to know what's happening. I, I, I have to highlight these players so that people can know the quality that we have out there. That is the importance of what I'm doing here to let people know what's happening. These players are quality players out there and it's just for us to go and get these players. No, the thing is, I'm on, I know most of you might, guys might not get the notification for this video, but that always is. So, people, I won't say long. This is a short, short video, one of the shortest videos I've done. But literally, one of my short respect, please smash the like button and turn on your notification so you can ensure that you get all the videos as soon as they drop. And uh, I can say this has definitely been a short and spicy one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And uh, remember, people, <laughs> remember, smash the like button, people. This is Military Guna TV. I won't be long. I already said it. I won't be long. Um, I am out.